All right, folks, Rooster here in Tennessee looking at another amp today. This is a uh, custom built amp made by my good friend uh, Forrest Gump in Alabama. It's a uh, dual 1446. Um, really nice amp. Let's see if I was trying to turn this variable down back here, turn that fan down a little bit. Really nice amp. It's a uh, base amp, runs on 110. It's got a uh, switching supply in it, so it's very light. People call them switchers, switching supply. Uh, mine's got a 45 amp switching supply in it, and uh, you can do these with a, as small as a 30 amp uh, if that's what you want. I like this one a lot. Use it to drive a, a single 3CX 1500 uh, from time to time. I guess you'd say this is like a pre-driver, so it goes in the 1500, then the 1500 goes into something else. Um, but it's a, a real cool amp. Uh, I'll show you what kind of, what's kind of unique about it. Uh, you can see we're at 8.3 volts right now. You're probably wondering what the heck, why is it so low? Well, the way this amp is set up is instead of putting a variable, a uh, little control variable for the, the linear uh, portion of the amp, uh, we've got a variable on the uh, voltage. So you can start out at 8.3 volts, and if you really want to crank, you can go all the way up to 16. Um, and these 1446s will take that. These are real 1446s, not knockoffs, uh, not generic or anything else. And uh, I've seen them take a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of voltage before they give up the give up the ghost or whatever. Um, but that's it. Uh, you vary your output power by the voltage, and we'll uh, demonstrate how that works here in a second. It does have a standby on it. If if you wanted to run barefoot or or whatever, didn't want to run the amp and and just leave it on, let it, you know. I would say let it cool down, but I've never got this thing hot. It's got a big slab of heat sink in it, so uh, there's a side view of it, and uh, we're, we're going to do an output test on it, 500 watt slug, uh, middle scale is what we'll be looking at, so 50 is 500. This is a Bird 43P, as always, and uh, we're going to test it with our good old uh, Galaxy 44, which does about 35 watts uh, peak, give or take. It might do a little bit less, actually. And uh, what we'll do is we'll check this thing on average power and we'll check it on PEP and we'll check it uh, like 16 volts, uh, 8 volts or 8.5 and, and then we'll check it around 14, 13.8 or so just to show you a uh, output on the amp and kind of show you how it varies. So let's turn this thing down. We'll turn it all the way down to 8.30 volts and uh, we'll go over here and check her out. Standby, we're on, keyed up, middle scale. Let's see, that would be a hundred. So it's like we're keying a little bit over 10 watts. Hello, audio, 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 audio. That first big hash mark you see that we're going a little bit past is 50 watts average. Shh, audio. We can do 50 or 60 watts average. And then we'll turn it on peak. Hello, audio one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. That's about 140 or so. That middle hash mark that we're just on the left side of is 150 watts peak. PEP. We are looking at the middle scale. Hello, audio one, two, three, audio one, two, three. About 140 watts peak. That's at 8.30 volts. Let's roll it on up here to. See if we can stop around 14, 13, 8 or so. Ooh, we went a little high. 13.90, that'll do. Uh, we're still on peak. Let's key her up and see what we're doing. We're doing 140 watts peak on uh, 8 volts, 8.5 volts. So let's see what we're doing here. Brought our carrier up to about 25 watts. Audio test, one, two, three. And we're swinging about 300. Audio test, one, two, three. Audio test, one, two, three. Audio test, one, two, three. Audio, radio, one. 300 peak. Audio test, one, two, three. Audio, and that's a little bit over 100 average. Audio, radio, one, two. So doubled our output all the way around. That's at 13.9 volts, so we added, what is that, five volts, five and a half volts, and we uh, doubled our output power. So let's go ahead and top her on out. We're not afraid to run it at 16 volts. Not afraid at all, she'll hold together, no problem. 
and uh, we'll test her out here. Average power, our carrier stayed about the same. Audio, sh audio, one, two, three, audio, one, two, three, audio, radio, sh audio, 130, 140 average. Let's check her on PEP and see what it's doing. Radio, radio, one, two, three, audio test, one, two, three, so about 345, hello radio, you could say 335 or so, I guess. Uh, right in between the uh, 300 and 350 hash mark, a little bit closer to the 350 spot. That's it. Hello, radio. One, two, three. Audio. Test, 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 test. Audio. Test, 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 test. So there you have it. That shows our uh, top end with both going from 8 volts to 16. Uh, the difference in 8 volts was, uh, let's see, about 140 watts peak at 8 volts versus about 340 watts peak at uh, 16 volts. And and at 13.8 or 13.9, we were right around 300 watts. But uh, that's it. That's, that's the way it works. I like the way it works a lot. I like the variable voltage uh, better than the uh, variable output on the amp itself. Uh, I had a lot of problems with the variables going out in, uh, in amps and uh, you're not going to have the variable go out on this and you still get to uh, change your output power uh, no noise out of our radio this thing that's with the volume wide open so we're not getting any noise off the switching supply it's a real clean uh, good running amp and a lot of fun to a lot of fun to use and uh, it's nice to be able to variable vary your output power uh, if you guys are interested in one like this let me know probably gonna do uh, some more of these and uh, maybe some with four 1446s in them you know you never can tell so uh, again if you're interested let me know and uh, get in touch with me and I hope you guys enjoy the video hope I didn't run too long and I uh, hope it was informative enough to give you a heads up what this thing's all about again this is a, a two pill 1446 by uh, Forrest Gump in Alabama, and uh, appreciate you guys watching. 73s.